This tutorial will show you how to pull down a test in Angel into Respondus. So I've opened Respondus here. Once I'm in here, I go to the Retrieval tab and then click on Retrieve Questions. You may need to set the configuration up here. Uh, I'm going to go to Edit Settings and then this is one of the screens that you would see if you went through the process. Now you download the pre-configured server settings and then just hit Next and from those pre-configured settings you want to select whichever server, either the development server, the live server, or training server. In this instance, I'm going to select the live server. And then I've entered the name here live. I've entered my SPC credentials. And I'm going to save my username and password. So here's my SPC username, here's my SPC password, and I'm saving that. And then I'll run the connection test just to make sure that Respondus and Angel can communicate. Once I'm done that, I'm ready to go and I select next here and now I get to this screen and I get to see or I can see all my courses or repositories that um, I have access to. I'm gonna select this repository and once that loads I then can see the structure in Angel and I navigate to the assessment that I want in this instance I'm gonna select fall 2012 test number four and I'm gonna name it the same thing in this example and then click next and now Respondus is going to Angel and pulling down all the questions in this test. Once it's finished I get a little screen here with some information that I can read but I'm just gonna click finish and once it's done with that all of the questions will now be in Respondus. So I'm still on the same screen here. If I wanted to see the questions, I can go to the Edit tab. And then if I wanted to edit the questions in here, I could by clicking on them individually. And I could do, do whatever I wanted to in here. Now if I want to save this in order to uh, print it, then I go to the Preview and Publish tab. And I'm going to go to Print Options. Once in here, I have some things that I can choose from. I can select the format for the for it being exam or exam with answer key and answer key only. In this example I'm going to choose the exam and I can take a look at the settings for this. I'm going to choose the question number, the wording. I'm going to have this selected, suppress repeated images and I'm going to have answer choices and leave everything else um, as you see here and then just hit OK and I'm not going to do anything else with this but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say save to file and now I can name this test I'm just going to save that to my desktop so Respondus goes through its process here and now the file has saved and wherever I've saved that now I can take that file and I'm, I'm going to open it up so just so you can see what Respondus has produced. So here's the test, the DOC file that Respondus created. You can see the questions and the answer choices. Now if I wanted to create another one, an exam with the answer key, I could do the same thing. I could look over the settings, make sure it's what I want, um, and then just Again, say select a file, or I'm sorry, save to file, and I'll just uh, rename this, hit save, Respondus goes through, through its process, and then I'll get a dialog box that says it's finished, and then now I have this test ready to go, and this one will have the answer key and whatever else I've selected general feedback. So now I can take these DOCX files or DOC files and put them up into Angel uh, for prosperity purposes or for um, other instructors that maybe want to print it. Now the other thing that I can do here also is that I can save this as a Respondus file which would be a .rsp and you'll see I'm just going to go ahead and click the the save button but I didn't make any changes so that's okay but in my documents now 
I have a respond as projects folder and in here I can see the folder for this file that I've created and here's my RSP file now I can also put this up into Angel if I wanted to save it for prosperity's purposes or for whatever reason uh, but this is where your respondus file is saved and then we can always push our tests back up into Angel by under the preview and publish tab and publish to Angel and we can go through a very similar process that we use to pull the test down